Issa epitomizes a builder. Everything that you see her accomplish, she had to build. Growing up, we were brainwashed to think that in order to have something better, we had to leave our communities. Well, Issa doesn't believe that, you know, and she's taking the charge on, hey, let's invest in our communities rather than leave them. We can stay home and still rise. She put her office in Inglewood, built her ray right here in the community, and she's all about how do I sustainably inspire people and show them that we can build, we're all we need right here. You need a place to work, let me build a coffee shop. If you need a place to come in and meet people who have relationships to get your work seen or to get your work the resources that it needs to be developed, let me put my office here. Let me throw community events so that you can come here and meet other people. When you walk into a space that's already embracing you and who you are, and it's inviting and it's warm and it's loving, now that sets the foundation. You are in an environment that has been curated specifically for you to reach the hilltop of whatever your dream is. She's constantly thinking, if I have this opportunity and if I don't widen or expand the pie, who else is going to do that? And the only way that we'll be able to create sustainable change is if we create more access for more people who are trying to do the right thing as well. She is one of the most genuine, loving, compassionate people I've ever met. As she leads the way and blazes these trails, it allows all of us to continue to live out our dreams and create more opportunities for others. Your life is only as meaningful as the people you help. Whose life is better because you've lived? That's what I think about Isa. Lives are better because she's lived.